friends welcome back to my channel um, I have been gone <laughs> for a, a little over a week I have been sick um, my voice and I still am a little still a little sick um, but I've been holding on to some things that I've gotten in the past couple of weeks to a month but um yeah um, <clears throat> then I wanted to go ahead and do a craft slash art supply haul. Um, there are scrapbooking supplies, there are watercolor stuff, our journal stuff, um, all kinds of goodies. So if you like those kinds of hauls, um, let's go ahead and get started. Um, so first I'm going to start with some books that I've gotten recently. Um, that are watercolor books. So <clears throat> this one is um, Galaxy Watercolor and I purchased it from Barnes and Noble, I believe. Um, and it is Sosha Davis, that's the creator. Um, and I'll just do a little, a quick little flip through. Um, but she goes into detail um, of how to do certain projects, the supplies that she uses, getting started with watercoloring, um, and kind of her style of watercoloring. Then I picked up the Hello Watercolor from Jenny Dick Dixon. I think that's how you say her name. Um, and again, I am trying to learn how to watercolor. Um, I have watercolors and I use them more for like color washes um, in my scrapbooking. But I would love to learn how to actually like do galaxies like um, like this book. I would love to learn how to paint some kinds of, you know, florals and stuff. So that's the reason why I got this. Um, I have gotten through a little bit of this one and done some of the different techniques, like the beginning, the like beginner techniques. Um, and I'll do a quick little flip through of this one as well. She has some um, hand lettering stuff in there. Um, and I don't really want to learn how to hand letter right now. That's not what I got that book for, but um, it might come in handy one day. And then next up, I ordered this one online um, from Jean Haynes, at Atmospheric Flowers and Watercolor. Um, Irit. Um, on YouTube. I watch her. I've been watching her since a really long time. Um, back when she used to only scrapbook um, on her channel for the most part. She did mixed media as well on watercoloring, but now her channel is geared towards watercoloring. And I watched one of her videos recommending um, different books and stuff. And um, she said this one was a good one if you want to learn how to do florals. So, I purchased this one, and I mean, they're, these are all, all three of these are just beautiful books. Like, <laughs> the artwork in them are just stunning. This one is a hardcover, and it was under $20. No, it's a hardcover under $20, and it's big. Um, <clears throat> but I'll do a quick flip through of this one as well. I don't really want to go into detail and show you guys every single page because this is how these um, people make money by selling their books. So if you're interested, um, that's what those are. Um, so those are the three watercolor books that I purchased. And I've already read through both of these, the two on top, I got them first. Um, I've already read through them, but now I'm starting to work through this one. I wanna do one at a time. I don't wanna do all of them <laughs> um, because each person, breaks watercoloring down in a different way and so that's why I got those. Next up I went to a couple used bookstores Emily and I went um, and I purchased I think this book was like under two dollars and it is Glorious Gardens um, and I'm turning it into an art journal. So I've already glued some pages together. I've reinforced, I've torn out pages. Um, and I did it through the whole book. And this is going to be a new art journal for me. Um, I think it's gorgeous. And it's going to be a lot of fun. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. 
Um, I got this idea from um, Inky Quill, Adele, and she's done several different older books or cookbooks and stuff and turn them into art journals. And so I thought that I would also give that a try and it's a nice hardcover. Um, and I bought another one. I bought this one as well and I think it was like a dollar or maybe a dollar. I think this one was a dollar fifty and this one was a dollar. Um, and this one is America's Sunset Coast from National Geographic. Um, and look at that. Oh my gosh. Obviously, look at that. I'm going to have to tear some pages out because it's thick. Um, and then glue pages together like I did with the other one. But look, oh my gosh, so pretty. Um, and yeah, so I thought that that would be a lot of fun to do. Um, but I'm going to put this one aside um, and start in this one. Um, I like the big size, but I also like this size too. So, and they're both hardcover, so that's going to be nice. And I already also love the color of this and the little sun on it. So that was fun. If you've never been to a used bookstore, I highly recommend it. Um, that was the first time that I had ever been to one. Emily and I went a couple weeks ago. Um, we went to two different ones here um, local to us. And she also got some books for inspiration. Um, she draws and sketches and paints and all kinds of stuff. Um, so she also got a couple like flower and garden books um, because she said she wants to kind of start to learn how to draw those kinds of things. And so that was a lot of fun. Okay, so then next I'll start with some of the art supplies that I got. Um, I picked up this watercolor paper. Um, it's 100% cotton and it is cold press. It is 140 pounds and 300 gm. Um, and yeah, I've never used this one before, so I'm not sure. But all of the watercolor people say 140 pounds or 300 gm is the way to go and 100% cotton. So that's what I did. Um, and I like cold press, so yeah that I also got this little like um circle stencil to use with one of the watercolor books one of the watercolor books um the galaxy one she recommended getting something like this with like a circle stencil so I picked that up at Michael's um I got some Liquitex matte medium I picked this up probably about a month ago, actually. <laughs> I've already used it um, to glue some of my pages in that book. Um, so there's that. Uh, and then I picked up some Dr. P.H. Martin's Bleed Proof White Ink. Um, this was also a recommendation from the Galaxy watercolor book. I also picked up my very first Neo Color to um, like a, it's like a water soluble wax pastel. Um, I picked this up for my art journal to do like shadowing around things. I got this paintbrush. It's a round paintbrush for water coloring. Got that from the art supply store. And then I picked up this is a liquid watercolor. Um, and what is the color? I'm pretty sure the color is just gold. 801. I don't know. Um, but it, to me, it looks like a, like a champagne color, kind of like a champagne gold pewter. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. It's really, really pretty. And then I got more of like a yellow gold. Um, and this was a, this one is an, an acrylic ink and it's light gold. Um, but again, to me, it's like a yellow gold. So you can see the difference with them side by side. And they are, they have the dropper on it. So you just drop the ink. Um, I feel like they would both be great for splatters. Um, but I really got them to work with, oh, that one's hard to get off. I really got them to work with my watercolors to add some like details and metallic with the watercoloring. So 
that is that. So one is a liquid water watercolor and one is a liquid acrylic. Okay. And then <laughs> I got some Daniel Smith uh, watercolors. I only have one currently and it's a yellow and I love it. It's the best. Um, so I picked up a couple more. They are expensive. Again, I did not get all of this all at once. Um, and also my mom took my took Emily and I shopping um so she she actually bought these two I bought this one she bought these two in the liquid um acrylics and the paintbrush um and I believe that's in the watercolor paper she bought that stuff for me <clears throat> so I picked up the Daniel Smith um extra fine watercolor in lavender I thought that was a beautiful color and then I also picked up the rose matter um and yeah, I'm excited. I'm super excited. Um, oh my God, it's so pretty. Oh, now I just need to get a new palette for the Daniel Smith ones. And I don't know what the difference is, but this one does not say permanent and this one says permanent. I mean, obviously I know that that means it's permanent, but I didn't, I didn't think watercolors were permanent. So I might've messed up there. <laughs> um, and then this one I got from Michaels. They only have like the really tiny Daniel Smiths. Um, and it's Moon Glow. It's like a deep, deep purple. And this one was recommended by one of the watercolor books that I am reading. So that is all of the art supplies. So now we're gonna move on to stamping slash scrapbooking. So I picked up the new Saltwater Taffy Distress Oxide Color. Um, I got this at my local scrapbook store. Um, and I'm excited to use that. I got this Concord and Ninth Playful Pattern Stamp Set. Um, I thought that this one would be fun to use in my memory planner. Um, because they are smaller and I could probably put them in the blocks. Um, so that's why I got that one. This one was a freebie because I had points. Um, and this one is also Concord and Ninth. And this one is Up and Away uh, stamp set. And we have a little sunshine, little clouds, some little hearts, and just some really cool sentiments. And then I picked up this one from Indigo, Indigo Blue <laughs> um, for art journaling. Uh, and I just thought that was really, really pretty. It's called Calm and Relax. And it is a rubber, um, a cling mount rubber stamp set, or stamp, um, and the detail. I love seeing all the detail in that. I love the butterfly here. If I can find these products online, I will link them down below. Um, but all of these products were purchased in local stores. Um, the local art store, the local bookstores, um, and the local scrapbook store. So, um, I will link them if I can find them online. Uh, this stamp set is from Pink and Main, and it is called uh, Daisy Bugs. So, we have some, um, really pretty daisy flowers, and we have some ladybugs and dragonflies. Um, and I love all of, like, the little swirly things. I don't know. Um, and it also came with the dyes. Um, my local scrapbook store has started doing that. They don't sell the individual stamp sets anymore. They only sell them with the dies, <sighs> which is a little frustrating because it does get more expensive that way, but it is nice to have if, you know, yeah, so there's that. <laughs> Next up, I picked up some of my favorite foam adhesive because I was pretty sure I'm almost out. If I'm not, I'm out. Yeah, I'm almost out. Um, and so I picked them up. They are from Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L. They are my favorite foam adhesives. Um, and I'm going to try the strips. I've never used the strips before. Um, so I got the squares, like I always get. And then this time I got the strips. So I'm going to try those out. And then my, um local scrapbook store normally doesn't have new collections like new scrapbooking collections and this last time that I went they actually had several newer collections 
Um, and I picked up a little bit of the one that they had that I really, really loved. This one was, it's by Echo Park, but it was created by my friend Tracy Reed. Um, she is the person that designed my logo. Um, and she, she's an amazing person. I love her so much. Um, I love watching her videos on YouTube. I love watching her on Instagram. Um, and she's just really a nice person. So, um, I picked up the, um, cardstock die cut cardstock pieces usually they have like a tags and frame one but I think this is just the regular ones yeah um so that is what you get in there <coughs> this is the only ephemera pack that they had they didn't have like the sticker book or the chipboard chipboard stickers um they had the 12 by 12 sticker sheet this ephemera pack and the papers um so here is the sticker sheet, which I just absolutely love. Um, it is definitely springtime, and I think this is just a beautiful collection. Tracy did such a great job. Um, let's flip these around. And I did not get every single paper. Um, I just got, this is kind of how I personally buy and shop with collections. I just get the papers that I am really, really, really drawn to or that I know that I would be able to use. And I love this yellow. Um, the B is super cute, but I know I won't use it, so I only got one with just the yellow. Um, we have these really, really, really pretty flowers with a really pretty pink. And then we have this one. Um, definitely got it for this side. Y'all know I'm a B-side girl. Um, we have this pretty blue with white little dots and the cameras. Again, I love this. It's gorgeous. I don't see myself using it unless I fussy cut some of these out. Um, but I know I will use that side. <clears throat> I believe, yes, I got two of these because I like both sides. I love plaid. And I love anything with flowers. And Tracy really does uh, create gorgeous florals. And so I had to get two of those. This one is so sweet with the tiny little flowers on it. And then we have some cut aparts. Love this one with the plaid, but it's like a really, really light green. And then we have more cut aparts really cute. I love all of the rainbows um, and I love the colors in this collection. We've got some ice cream cones and rainbows, which I got it for the rainbow side, surprisingly. Um, I just absolutely love it. I think it would be great to do in like, like borders or just like a chunk and a layer. Um, probably not do a whole background in it, but I love that. I love this one with the tiny little flowers with the um, navy blue background. And I also love this one. I don't know why I didn't get two. I only got one, but I love both of those. We've got some suns and more cut aparts. Um, this one has different different sizes of cut aparts. The other ones were three by four and then four by six. And we have some border cut aparts um, and some different sizes, which is really nice. Banners again with more cut aparts. I love cut aparts, I think they're so fun to use um, in scrapbooking. And then we have some clouds and a plaid with all of the colors. I mean, I should have got two of these too. I like both of those. I don't know why I didn't. Um, so that is my haul video. I hope you all enjoyed this. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and let me know what your um, favorite, what your favorite, um, collection that's come out or that is coming out soon, um, is. Let me know down below in the comments. I would love to hear what collection you have your eyes on, um, and what collection is the one that you really want to get next. Um, I love hearing from y'all and yeah. So I hope you guys all have an amazing day and don't forget to spread love and be kind. Bye friends.